girl, you know it's true. Ooh, 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 summer's all through. Uh, that's right, Minnesota Fighting Vikings back in the saddle again. TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill in Egan. Getting things on. Uh, ready to hoist that drum party for the first time in 12 times in the next 10 years. A new head coach, Kevin O'Connell, uh, spoke to the local media jackals, fed them their pound of flesh uh, as uh, the Vikings are ready to start training camp tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, so we got some thoughts on uh, some of the things that he said, some of the questions that were asked, etc. Also, uh, tangent. So Kevin O'Connell, do you think he's related to Jerry O'Connell at all? The, the fantastic actor who's done billions, uh, Stand By Me, uh, etc. I mean, I mean, you can kind of see it. Like, if and when there's going to be a movie about Kevin O'Connell, 36-year-old head coach, uh, taking his team to the Super Bowl in the first season, first of 12. That's right. Uh, and I, I do think that Jerry O'Connell should be considered for the role. He's perfect. Also... Sliders with Jerry O'Connell, uh, it was a show about uh, like interdimensional travel, time travel, everything like that. Basically, it was uh, it, it was uh, a quantum leap for millennials, kind of. Uh, it was a great show. Underrated show. Sliders, not about hamburgers, by the way. I don't know. I, I don't know what this accomplishes. But, uh, hey, John Stamos, you lost your wife to the fat kid from Stand By Me. R.I.P. Greg Giraldo. Anyways. Press conference. That's what we're here for. Uh, we'll wreck it. Sports Illustrated. Go. Uh, Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell. We're moving into the competition phase. Uh, he said he's excited to see this team start to take shape uh, while still trying to stress fundamentals and technique. So uh, the entire offseason, whether it's mandatory minicamp or OTAs, uh, there's a lot of consternation. It's like, oh, why are all the veterans getting all the first team reps? How come the rookies aren't getting the time of day? Because uh, guess what? This is the competition part. You know, the offseason was all about just getting acclimated, uh, getting in some reps, uh, et cetera. But now is when competition matters. Now you're going to see, see, start to see some of the rookies rising. Now uh, whoever's taking reps with the ones and to a degree the twos really matters. So that's why you have to pay attention as training camp goes along. Also, uh, so just because you start with the first team, doesn't mean you're going to stay with the first team. So uh, looking at competition along the offensive line, looking at the cornerback room, looking at wide receiver uh, three and four, looking at who is first up in line for punt return. That's really important, both right now as well as in, in a couple of weeks. Well, what's going to be going on then? Is there a change and who's taking reps of the ones? Uh, who is out there first in preseason games? Who has the inside track for week one against the greasy, grimy Green Bay Packers at historic U.S. Bank Stadium uh, to be taken the field? So now is the competition phase. So I absolutely love and adore that. Uh, ben Gessling, Star Tribune, go. Uh, Kevin O'Connell says he expects Irv Smith to be a full go at the beginning of training camp after the Vikings took it slow with him this spring. They'll evaluate him every day, uh, but liked how he looked with the group of players who reported earlier this week, O'Connell said. Now, the fact that Irv wasn't put on the pup to start training camp is a fantastic sign. Now, they were taking it very, very slow and gingerly with Irv as he comes back from that meniscus injury, uh, which happened uh, just slightly less than a year ago. I think it was in the Chiefs preseason game. Uh, but the fact that, uh, again, he could have started on the pup. If they wanted to take it super cautious with him, they could have had him on the list uh, just in case they need to put him on the pup for the regular season. But the fact that they're not doing that, the fact that uh, he's going to be a full go at the start of training camp, it means great things for Irv as tight end one in this offense he's going to absorb every single rep uh, as well as uh you don't have to worry about i don't know johnny munt taking over tight end one whatever next up will raggets kevin o'connell uh, says that the vikings will have the pads on the summer they'll be full go uh, when we're going we got to go when we put those pads on it's just not that many opportunities for our players to feel prepared uh, there's no other way than to be full go and compete now uh kevin o'connell uh, he's already talked about so you're allotted 16 padded practices in training camp he's only going to use 11 but uh, when they do have the pads on they're going to be click clack and they're going to be getting things done all right so it's going to be uh, all business it's, it, it it isn't going to be clown farting around uh, once they do have the pads on. But also, it, it's a balance. Like uh, You do have to balance it out where you're not grinding guys down, especially some of the veterans. Uh, you're not opening yourself up to injuries, and you're not going into the season uh, just mentally and physically fatigued. So uh, they're going to strike a balance there. Uh, Thomason. Uh, Kevin O'Connell said Amir Smith-Marset is looking great after leg injury. Uh, again, another good sign that he didn't start the training camp on the pup. Uh, Johnny Munt is doing well. Apparently he had some off-season ailment, whatever. Uh, O'Connell doesn't expect at this point that any other players other than Ryan Connolly and Blake Prohl uh, will uh, to not be full go to start camp, which is uh, fantastic, which is a, a nice relief. So he's starting out of the gates relatively healthy, and then we'll go from there. Lastly, 
Uh, Kevin O'Connell on Friday practice at U.S. Bank Stadium said it was one of the few times the team could get in uh, prior to August 20th preseason game. It's a good chance to get players acclimated to the stadium, the locker rooms, etc. And uh, they, they started doing this a couple of seasons ago, and I, I like that they do it. I like that Kevin O'Connell is still running with this because uh, think about it. You have young guys, rookies, uh, as well as new free agents who have never been at U.S. Bank Stadium in the home locker room. Uh, they've never ha- had to experience the logistics of where do you park? Where do you get in? Where do you do this? Where's the team bus? Where is this? Uh, where, where's et cetera? Uh, wh- where is the training room? Where do we go for this? Uh, what's pregame like? What's it like on the sidelines? Uh, what what are the sight lines? Uh, what, how are reflections coming off that giant uh, bird-killing <laughs> glass uh, uh, glass uh, ceiling? Uh, what's going on there? And just getting used to the sights and sounds they're, they're going to have a full practice uh, a quasi scrimmage going on there so I think that it's ex- exceedingly smart uh, for these young guys to get used to it so that their first time uh, setting foot on the field isn't in their preseason game because especially some of the young guys who are on the fringe of the roster and the practice squad is like hey you need to show up and impress and if you're already comfortable in that first preseason game once the Vikings get it on against the San Francisco 49ers uh, you're going to be good to go uh, absolutely uh, ready to rock and roll versus just like oh where do I park? That old stuff. But uh, Kevin O'Connell, love hearing him speak, just like uh, Kwesi Adolfo Mensa. Already fired up about the season, and let's go compete. Let's go win. Let's go hoist at your own party. And just <sighs> fantastic, man. Anyways, your thoughts on our thoughts. Kevin O'Connell's pre-training uh, camp press conference. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.